In this lesson we will look at the different screenplay elements and see how to create them and jump from element to element quickly to keep the writing flow. Most screenplay writing programs, and Final Draft is no exception, mainly use two keys to jump between the different script elements while writing, and that is Enter and Tab. Let's see how that works. We have an empty page here, so the first thing we need to do is create a scene heading. We know that a scene heading needs to consist of three elements minimum. Exterior or interior, the location and the time of day. So let's try that. Just press the E key, for example, and Final Draft automatically offers to type exterior, EXT, because it knows that at the beginning of a scene heading you most likely will want to write either EXT for exterior or INT for interior. These predetermined text entries are stored in so-called smart lists that can also individually be customized. If you want to know more about smart lists, check out the video about smart type. Now we can either continue to write EXT or just press tab and Final Draft will complete the suggestion by itself and now it waits for our next entry, the location. Let's type something, for example, garden, tab again, and Final Draft automatically creates the dash that is standard in between the location and time of day and asks us which time of day we want to use. We can either choose or write. But before you do that, let's take a look up at the top of the screen. There you see in the Elements menu it says Scene Heading. Now if we press Enter, several things happen at once. Final Draft completes the entry of the scene heading brings us to the next paragraph, keeping a gap between the scene heading and the next line, and it automatically changes the screenplay element from scene heading to action. If you look up to the screenplay element menu again, you see that it now says action. That's because usually a scene heading is followed by an action line, so that's what Final Draft offers you. Now you're ready to write an action line. The action line is a description of what's happening in the scene, so just write whatever you want to happen on screen. Now we can either write another action line paragraph by hitting Enter or Tab, or we can jump to the character element by hitting Tab again. What you see is that Final Draft automatically respects the predetermined settings for indentation and capitalization of the character name. And these settings are stored inside of the template file. We will have a look in another video on how you can adjust them if you need to. But the screenplay template in and of itself adheres to industry standard, so you shouldn't need to worry about that. After writing the character, you have several options. You can either jump to a dialogue line with Enter, or if you want to enter parentheticals underneath the character name, also called Riley's sometimes, you can do so by hitting Tab. Remember that in every script element you have listed at the bottom what kind of action Tab and Enter will perform. So if you're unsure, especially in the beginning, just take a look here at the bottom and Final Draft will tell you. So now with these two keys, Enter and Tab, you should be able to jump between script elements pretty quickly when writing without having to worry about formatting. That's all Final Draft's job. You will get used to when to use which one of the buttons very quickly and after having done so, you won't even think about it anymore. In case you want to write an element that is not used that often or that Final Draft doesn't predict automatically, you can choose another element from the element menu at the top. Just move your cursor to set element and choose another one. Final Draft will change the element settings accordingly. Also, when your cursor is in an empty line, you can just hit Enter and Final Draft will give you a menu with script elements to choose from. So, in this video we learned how to create and use the predefined screenplay formatting elements and that using them like this can save you a lot of time when you're writing. Imagine you'd have to pick each element manually or you'd have to worry every time if the indentations and spaces before and after each element are correct. That would be a lot of work and also be a huge distraction in the writing process. This automatic element formatting is one of the big differences between a normal text editor, so to speak, and a software with screenwriting capabilities.